Hi everybody. I'm really excited to bring you this video on how to make very simple smoked salmon. Smoked salmon is one of those foods that as a kid growing up, anytime we had a family gathering that involved brunch, smoked salmon was always at the center and it always brings back those great memories of being together with family. Um, besides, it's just super delicious. Very simple recipe. There's only three ingredients. There's four cups of dark brown sugar to one cup of kosher salt. Um, you can cut down the salt a little bit if you don't want it as salty, but that's the basic uh, ratio that I go by when making smoked salmon. Mixing the salt together with the brown sugar is the most difficult part. Um, I did purchase pre-skinned and boneless salmon fillets just as a matter of convenience, rather than buying a whole filet, having to skin it and debone it myself, um, I just found this was an easy way to go, and the price was really reasonable. Um, you can find these salmon portions in your freezer section at your local grocery store. The first thing we do is I, I like using a glass uh, casserole dish here, and I put down a good layer of the sugar, brown sugar, and salt mixture uh, to cover the bottom. And then I simply lay some fillets right on top of that. We're going to fully cover those fillets with another layer of the brown sugar and salt mixture. And once that's fully covered, we'll put the remaining fillets on top of that and fully cover those as well. As you'll see here in this upcoming photo, um, the fillets are fully covered. And we're going to give those a chance to sit in the refrigerator overnight so this dry sugar and salt brine can do its magic. And what's going to happen is after anywhere from four to eight hours, it's up to you how long you want to let it brine, that uh, brine mixture is going to liquefy and really get all that moisture out of the salmon um, that you want and just impart all that sweet, salty flavor that uh, we are after in this recipe. Now that the brining process is complete, the next step, which is very critical in making sure that the smoked salmon comes out tasting the way we want it to, is to use very cold water to rinse off each filet very thoroughly. We want to make sure that we're removing any excess sugar that would be on the surface of the filet as well as the excess salt. We don't want, if you don't do this step, you're going to wind up with very salty uh, salmon that uh, may be unpleasant. So make sure you do a good job of rinsing each filet. We're going to let these filets sit for an hour and a half to two hours, giving it a chance to form a thin film called a pellicle, which is going to aid in the smoking process and help that smoke adhere and impart its flavor onto the fish. You can see we've got the smoker set at 160 degrees. That's why I love using this pellet smoker. So keeping that low temp and the right amount of smoke is perfect for this type of uh, recipe. Now we're looking for a finish temp of right around 120 degrees. It took about three hours for it to reach that temperature and that's all there is to it. The smoking process is done. We used a cherry wood for this recipe. It's my personal favorite. Favorite. You can also use light flavored woods, other fruit woods, or people recommend using alder wood as well as something that goes well with fish. Now that it's done, you can simply serve it up. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be vacuum packing each individual filet. Of course, after doing a little bit of taste testing here, and let me tell you, the taste was a perfect balance of sweet and salty, as well as that beautiful salmon flavor um, that only this kind of fish will have. I do urge you to try this recipe. It's excellent. If you did like this video, please press like, subscribe to our channel, and check out our newly redesigned website, smokeandgrill.com, and we will see you next time.